This presentation introduces Active Directory directory service replication within a site. Replication is the process by which a change made to an Active Directory object on one domain controller is propagated to other domain controllers. At the end of this presentation, you will be able to define replication and predict when it will occur, describe how replication occurs, describe replication conflicts and how they are resolved. Replication occurs in response to changes in any copy of the Active Directory database. Such changes can include the addition of an object to Active Directory as when you create a new user or computer account, the modification of an object's attribute values as when you change the asset number on an existing computer account, the change of the name of an object's container as when you rename an organizational unit or move the object to a different organizational unit. The deletion of an object from the directory as when you delete a computer account for a computer that has been removed from the network. When a change occurs on a domain controller, the domain controller notifies its replication partners within the same site. This process is called change notification. The replication partners then request the changes from the source domain controller. The source domain controller either responds to the change request by sending the updated information or if there are already requests pending, places the request in a queue. Replication requests are processed one at a time until all requests in the queue are processed. When a change occurs on a source domain controller, a delay occurs before the first direct replication partner is notified of the change. By default, this interval is 15 seconds on Microsoft Windows Server 2003 domain controllers. Additional direct replication partners are then notified at intervals of 3 seconds. This delay staggers the replication traffic and improves performance by ensuring that the source domain controller is not overwhelmed with simultaneous update requests from multiple replication partners. Both the first 15 second notification interval and the subsequent 3 second notification intervals are configurable. However, if you reduce the interval to very small increments, such as 1 second, network traffic increases and performance deteriorates. If you increase the interval to a very large interval, such as one hour, you increase latency and the likelihood of replication conflicts. Attribute updates that are security sensitive do not wait the default 15 seconds. Instead, they trigger an immediate change notification. This process is called urgent replication. For example, urgent replication occurs when an administrator locks out an account. Although a specific update triggers the change notification during urgent replication, when the replication partner requests changes, all new changes are replicated, not just the security-sensitive change. Replication latency is the delay between the time a change occurs and the time it is propagated to all domain controllers in the site. After the source domain controller communicates an update to its direct replication partners, the replication process continues until the change is passed to all applicable domain controllers in the site. In summary, replication occurs in response to a change to an Active Directory object. The change notification process triggers replication. You can configure notification intervals. Security sensitive changes trigger urgent replication. Increased latency increases the chance of replication conflicts. When a change is made to an Active Directory object, one or more of its attribute values is changed. For example, a user account might be updated with a new office number. Active Directory replicates updates at the attribute level, so only the updated attribute value is replicated, not the entire object. Replicating updates at the attribute level reduces network traffic and the likelihood of replication conflicts. Two administrators can update different attribute values of the same object at the same time without any replication conflicts because only the attribute values are replicated. Each attribute has a version number. When an update is made to an attribute value on a domain controller, that update is called an originating update. When an originating update is implemented, the version number of the updated attribute increases by one. A globally unique stamp travels with each update and contains the attribute version number, a timestamp that indicates the system time on the originating domain controller, and the GUID, or globally unique identifier, for the originating domain controller. 
The globally unique stamp on each update is used to resolve replication conflicts and to assist in restoring Active Directory objects. Each update in Active Directory eventually propagates to every domain controller in the site that hosts the partition on which the update was made. This complete propagation is called convergence. Active Directory generates multiple paths to propagate updates between domain controllers to provide fault tolerance and improve performance. However, these multiple paths can result in the redundant replication of updates to the same domain controller along different replication paths. To prevent such redundant replication, Active Directory replication uses a propagation dampening scheme. Propagation dampening is the process of preventing unnecessary replication. For example, domain controllers 3, 4, and 5 each receive an updated password on a user account that originated at domain controller 1. All three domain controllers have received and written the updated password and therefore have the updated information, so no further replication of the updated password is necessary between the three domain controllers. In summary, Active Directory replicates changes at the attribute level. Replicating changes at the attribute level decreases the chance of replication conflicts and decreases network traffic. Each update travels with a globally unique stamp that automatically resolves conflicts. The complete propagation of an update is called convergence. Active Directory uses propagation dampening to eliminate unnecessary replication. Replication in Active Directory is based on a multi-master model in which an update can originate at any domain controller. Conflicts may arise when concurrent updates that originate on two separate master replicas are inconsistent. Active Directory minimizes and resolves conflicts by replicating changes at the attribute level and by maintaining update counters locally on each domain controller. Active Directory resolves three types of conflicts. Attribute conflicts, deleted container conflicts, and RDN conflicts. An attribute conflict occurs when the same attribute of a given object is modified on more than one domain controller before replication occurs. Although this is not likely to occur within a site due to low replication latency, it can occur during replication between sites. Active Directory resolves such conflicts by using a globally unique stamp for each originating update. First, the attribute version numbers are compared. If they differ, the update with the higher version number is accepted. This practice resolves most conflicts. If the version numbers are identical, the update with the later timestamp is accepted. The use of multiple criteria for resolving conflicts is used to perform authoritative restores of older information. A deleted container conflict occurs when one replica records the deletion of a container object while another replica records the placement of an object in that container or in a subordinate container. When this conflict occurs, the object is moved to a special container called lost and found, and the container is deleted. An administrator must manually retrieve the object from lost and found and place it in an appropriate container. An RDN, or Relative Distinguished Name, conflict occurs when two replicas attempt to place objects with the same RDN in the same container concurrently. When this conflict occurs, the object that has the globally unique stamp with the higher numeric value keeps the RDN, and the other object is renamed by appending information to the RDN. The name of the new object does not conflict with the RDN of any other Active Directory object. When an RDN conflict occurs, an administrator must rename the sibling object with a name that does not conflict with another relative distinguished name in the destination container. If the two objects represent the same thing, the administrator must determine which one to keep, delete the other, and, if necessary, rename the retained object with the appropriate name. In summary, the globally unique stamp resolves attribute conflicts in Active Directory. When an object is added to a deleted container before replication has propagated the deletion, the object is moved to the lost and found container. When RDN conflicts occur, one object is renamed automatically.